Well, guys, we did something today. It was a little spur of the moment. We got a fish. We got a fish. <laughs> it was a little bit impulsive, but not really, because it's something we've been talking about for a long time. Yeah, I mean, we've discussed it and weighed the pros and cons and took the plunge. What'd we do? We got a fish. We got a fish. Hi, fish. <laughs> Hi, baby boy. Say hi, fish. My friend Stephanie works a lot with an animal rescue, and she asked me to come over and take pictures for the rescue. And as I was taking pictures, she said, do you want to foster one? And I said, hmm. <laughs> I know that I'm not in a position in my life right now where I can dedicate as much time as a dog needs full time. When I get a dog permanently, it's going to be when I have the time and energy and effort to put into a dog to make sure it's as happy and taken care of as it possibly can be. However, right now I'm not very, very busy. And between the two of us, we can definitely handle holding on to a cute little puppy for a few days, a couple weeks until it finds a home. For now, he is my baby boy. Yo, give us like <laughs> two days. Let us have him for at least two days. When I was holding him for the picture, he would not stop kissing me. Very lovey. Out of all the puppies, he was the one that was cuddling the most. The other ones were kind of nervous and shaking, but this boy is very chill and happy. Oh, look at him. Like, look at him right now, babe. Hi, honey. Oh, he's so cute. You know what my biggest fear is right now? Sharks. <laughs> My biggest fear is we're gonna have this puppy for a few days. Look at him just rest. Oh my God. <laughs> Get super f***ing attached. I'm already attached. And then somebody's going to adopt this dog. That's how it always works. He just wants to rest his face on my arm. Look, oh baby. <laughs> hey baby. Do you like your new name? Whoever adopts him, you can name him whatever you like. No, it's a fish. <laughs> oh. You wanna explore now? I'm gonna hold you baby like this. Does this make you feel better? Oh no, I think he is exploring. <laughs> he is a cuddle bear. I got you, you can cuddle in here. This is his first time alone without his family, so he's probably feeling a little bit lonely, but we'll hold him a whole bunch. Spoil him a whole bunch. <laughs> Should we change his name to Parrot? Because he really just likes sitting on my shoulder, babe. <laughs> he keeps going up there. Do you think he feels safer up there for some reason? What are you doing? Hi, baby. He's chill now. He was whining and now he's completely fine. I think he wanted to feel like he was cuddling and this makes it feel like he's cuddling. <laughs> what are you doing? Did we get a dog or a parrot? He's starting to get a little whiny. I think he has to go to the bathroom and is definitely hungry. And we're about to stop at a pet store to get him some food. Bro, you want sushi? Cannibalism. Yeah. Bro, you want tacos? Yeah. Did you see his eyes? I'm too hungry to sleep. There he goes. Goodbye. I can't believe somebody calls you mittens. Babe. Yeah, when I picked him up, I was like, I'll bet you any money someone named him Boots. If you have paws that are a different color than your body and you're an animal, your name is either <laughs> Mittens <laughs> or Boots. And it matches him. Killer, young I, killer. We love a monochromatic pup. <laughs> That's your yard for now. Good boy. He knows he's supposed to get a treat. He's waiting for it. You know you're supposed to get a treat, huh, boy? You did good. You get treat. Here, come on, honey. I don't think he likes these treats. Did he fool us? <laughs> We're making it official. Is that loose enough? Yeah. There you go, fish. Good boy. He doesn't like it. <laughs> there you go, honey. You look cute. You look cute with your little collar. I can't wait to go for a walk with you, honey. You want to walk in the yard, honey? Why not? You don't like it because it's kind of cold, huh? Explore. Go ahead. Oh my god, babe. He's so cute. Oh my god, he's cute. Look at his little footprints. Go ahead, fish. You can go inside. Ah, come on. Come on, honey. Oh, there you go. Come here, fish. Oh my god. Come here, fish. You want some water? No, you just want to sit with mama. Yeah. He just wants to sit with mama. I think fish is a mama's boy. Do you want to play outside, baby? Fish is terrified of the hallway. Come on, fish. There we go. I don't think he's afraid to come this way. He's got this way, but watch what I want him to come this way. Come on, honey. He's so scared of it. Oh my god. Oh, baby, you are so cute. 
This is gonna break my heart. Him begging for food. But you can't give him people food, right? <laughs> There you go. That's our boy. Should we bring it in the dining room so we can eat with us? I don't want to interrupt him. Yeah, so you're right. Good. The second we walked away, he followed. So we're going to bring the food to us. There you go, sweetie. You can eat with us. I get it. I don't like to eat by myself either. No, yeah. oh, he's so special. Good fishy. What? Good fishy. <laughs> good fishy. Update. Fish does not like leashes. <laughs> Come on, fish. Fish, you gotta learn how to like a leash. I wanna take you for a walk, my guy. Come here, honey. I'm not gonna pull you, but I want you to come. Yes. You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. It's like you forgot the leash was on. <laughs> come on, baby. Look, I'm down here. I'm right with you. Come on, let's go. Just one cuddles. Yeah. Maybe not the best time for a walk. Could be. <sighs> yeah, I don't think he wants to walk right now. I just wanna make sure he goes to the bathroom. You know how to test a dog's intelligence? By covering them with a blanket and seeing how long it takes them to get out. Babe, we got a genius on our hands. <laughs> there you go. You're a genius. He hates that collar. He's got to get used to it. Who is that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> get him. He thinks he's on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to be intimidating. Baby. Yeah. I was just reading the animal rescue mission's Instagram post uh -huh. about fish. There's already like three people that want him. I'm not yeah. surprised. I don't think I'm ready to say goodbye to fish yet. How will he survive without cuddling both of us at the same time? <laughs> he needs both of us. <laughs> now he'll forget about us in a week. True. Do you think he would? Yeah. I don't know. No offense. He might not. I don't know how dog memories work. True. Can we just keep fostering puppies? Get a new puppy every week? Yeah, we have everything we need. That is true. for being left alone all night oh i think he thought that we were trying to take him somewhere it's all good my guy we're not taking you away you just need cuddles and food what are you wanting i think he just wants love because he just spent his first night alone because he was always with his brothers yeah Aww. Last night was so hard because we had to keep him in the crate and they say to just let them cry. That's how you crate train them. So we just had to listen to him cry in his crate and it was so hard. Baby. <laughs> he just wants cuddles. That's all. He's just used to cuddling all day and playing with the other puppies all day. And now he's by himself and he doesn't know how to handle it. Do not bite. He did get me to take off his collar though. He whined hard enough. I know that's not good, but I'm not good at this. What do you want down there? <laughs> Come here. The inevitable has happened. The dog has peed aggressively on my bed. <laughs> so we're gonna go throw this in the wash. Uh, I knew that I shouldn't have the dog on the bed. I knew that in my heart, but I couldn't help it because he just wanted to sleep and he needed a friend. I gotta wash this blanket though, dog. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're okay. I'm not mad at you. Come on, you got it. I don't know what you're whining about. I didn't pee on your bed. You can do the stairs. Come on. He's scared. Come here, baby. He likes it up here. But you peed on my bed, which means I can no longer trust you up here. Come on, you got it. Good boy. You got it. Come on. Good boy. And one. And two. You got it. No. He just loves to be held. <sighs> we just spent our day at the trading post. Hi, Molly. <laughs> He is popular. He was all over all the ladies. And he's actually been very good. He calmed down. I was expecting him to be very nervous. And he's not at all. He's actually a very happy little boy. But I think we actually just found him a home. They texted us and there's this family who wants to come and meet him and potentially probably adopt him today. So we're going to try to line that up. And then you might have a home little friend. <laughs> 
Oh my God, the cuteness. Oh, you're gonna miss your mama, huh? Fish had a very long day and is now relaxing, <laughs> but he's about to meet his potential new mommy. We have a couple people interested. One person's coming tonight. Everybody loved him today. I had to be really careful about not getting him down on the ground. People were coming up and saying hello. And this dog turned so many heads because I think people aren't used to seeing a puppy quite so little. And everybody said, what a precious, precious dog he is. And he really is, look at him. And he just sat on my shoulder the whole time and gave me kisses, we love kisses. That's my eyeball, you're gonna give me pink eye. We named him Fish, but you can call him whatever you want. Yeah, that was just a, that was just a name I picked on the ride. Have you guys ever had a dog? Yeah, I'm a childhood dog. We haven't had one together. We have a yeah. cat. Oh yeah, they said that this would be a dog brother. Yeah. 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 He cuddles so much. It's funny that he's so timid, but he likes to like be with people. What he's doing right now is his favorite thing. Yeah, he just wants to sit and be cuddled. That's the only thing that I would say might be challenging in the beginning is he likes to be cuddled so much. And I think it's just yeah. because he's been taken away from, you know, yeah. his brothers and everything. But isn't he perfect? Yeah. yeah he's very, very nice. He's so he likes you guys. Yeah. He's chilling. Yeah. Would you change his name? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Would you change it to? I mean, it's his turn to pick. A yeah, name. she picked a cat. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? The cat. Archie. 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 Okay. Yeah. Jughead. Have to. Ooh. <laughs> if you don't, you're a clown. Right. <laughs> Babe, do you get the reference? I do. Is your cat orange? No, no he's not. Oh, that would be so good. Do you miss her? Where did she go? She just went to the bathroom and then he started whining and went to the door and he keeps checking the door for her. Let's see what happens when she comes out. Dude, where'd she go? <laughs> She's coming. Oh, honey. Don't make me miss you. Stop it. She's back. <gasps> <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> I think he forgot. I think he did too. He loves her. He's cuddling up on her and kissing her and making me jealous. You would never do that to me, would you? No, they're married. <laughs> <laughs> So we just met with the first couple who liked him. They said they really, really like him and want him. And they said, how do we make it so nobody else can have him? So I think they really want him. I told them to go home and sleep on it. Let me know in the morning. If there was somebody else who wants to see him in the morning. If they wanted him still in the morning, then I wouldn't show him to anybody else. But a puppy is not something you should impulse buy. And this is the type of puppy that makes you really impulsive and want you to take him home. That's why I have him. <laughs> we also discovered that he is a Oh wait, we can't say that word. I mean, he is somebody who can take out his prey. Go! Oh wow. A little more enthusiasm, my guy. Yeah, get him. Go! Oh, oh. <laughs> so even though Fish was adopted, I have him for one more day. Today he is being very needy and wants to be held all day. So we're doing overalls today. How do you like it, Fish? cried until I did it, so I think you might like it. <laughs> Get her out, my guy. You can come in if you want. Okay, I have to close this door, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you want her? Come on, bud. I'll let you in. Hi. Is it that scary? <laughs> you don't like it in there. Okay, come on out. You stay right here. I will be out in five minutes. Give me five minutes, my boy. Can I have five minutes, sir? <laughs> oh. Five minutes. Yes. <gasps> Puppy! Do you like it? Temperature, it's fine. Do you want to hang out in here? Oh god, is this what having a baby is like? <laughs> I thought you wouldn't like it, but I feel like you like it kind of. Oh! Oh, you have that coming. I'll be five minutes. This is my last night with Fish. We're dropping him off tonight. He's been very needy today. Why am I... I'm vlogging in my shower. Do you like this? I can't tell. Your ears are down, but you also chose to come in here. I have to be honest, I think he wanted a bath. Because he usually whines a lot, and he's just not whining at all. I think he liked it. You're the cuddliest puppy I ever saw. Just licking my fingers. I give him water, and he just won't drink it. He takes like two licks, and then runs away. You sleepy boy, you want to go into your crate? No, I already know you don't want to go into your crate. You want to lay down on my rug and pee on it? He'll be good with whoever he ends up with. He loves you so deeply. I was like playing with him and giving him so much attention and then he actively chose to go under the blanket that was on Gabby's lap. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Hey guys, go check out the podcast. <laughs> Box of Thoughts, linked below. And check out Fish. <laughs> he's right here. Is there a man? Put him down, see if he goes to him. Nope. <laughs> Hi, Angel. What's up? Oh my God. <laughs> wow, I didn't think anything could ever make you look bigger, but a tiny little dog does. <laughs> My dad used to do that noise every time if we were in a, a car and there was a dog in the window next to us. He'd always do. 
And every dog goes like this without fail. Like they like look at you like with their head cocked and it's the cutest thing in the world and I laugh. So it's time to drop off the puppy and I've been crying because I love him and we just napped for so long together and he needs me so much I feel like, but also he doesn't need me. He'll be fine wherever he goes, but I do like him a lot. I'm scared that he'll feel like nobody wants him just for a little bit because he's been bounced around so much. I don't want him to feel like even for just a day that nobody wants him and wants wonder where I went. It made me sad, but <laughs> it is time to take him. I'm glad you were adopted. You're okay. I wore these overalls because I know you get scared in the car and you can cuddle inside of them. Get back in there. Camera shy, bud. He's not camera shy. He's just, I'm uh, paying attention to the camera, not him. <laughs> okay, guys, let's talk puppies. I have not had fish in my life for a full day now. I do miss him. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a text from the person who adopted fish, actually. That's so funny. I know that you guys want me to get a pet so bad, and everybody thought that I adopted fish. You guys have been telling me to adopt a dog for so long, and trust me, I would love a dog. But especially right now, I just don't have the time to give fully to a dog. I just want to reiterate this, because everybody keeps saying, why don't you keep him? Why don't you keep him? Please get a dog. I really f***ing want a dog. I was looking at pictures of puppies all this morning, but it's just not fair. That's another human life who needs as much attention as an infant child child and I'm not ready for a baby and I'm not ready for a dog. So if I do get a pet, it'll be something a lot lower maintenance. Maybe a cat as they're a little more independent, easier to train or rats. I love rats. <laughs> that is why I do not have a dog. So this was a really good experience for me. I highly encourage anybody who is looking for a puppy to look into adopting or fostering. Do what I did. I fostered a little guy. It was like renting a puppy. It was really nice. Cuddling up and napping with him for two hours. I never nap, but that puppy wanted to be held and he was tired and I was tired and we just fell asleep and it was so cozy to just cuddle and I could feel him wiggling up against my chest and nuzzling into my neck and wiggling his little body in my arms and I just love that little puppy so much. Ooh, I've been talking to Brooke, that's the adoptive parents, well the adoptive mama. I would love to meet up with them in a couple months and see if Fish remembers me. But honestly, I feel like Fish is the type of dog who definitely would get attached to me if I was with him long enough, but at the end of the day, just wants to play and be held and whoever's gonna do that, he's gonna be just fine. So I don't know if he'll even remember me or care if he sees me in a few months. I only had him for a couple days. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. This is this week's showstopper of the week. Thank you so much for all of your support. These are all my patrons. I've been a little inactive on Patreon lately, so I appreciate everybody that's still there. I wrote a little message there of why I was going to be inactive and kind of gave everybody a heads up about it, but I will be back very soon. I'm in the headspace for it. As always, I love you very much. Thanks for being a part of my family, and I'll see you next time.